it's a good learning experience shooting in a museum because you're gonna shoot under different lighting conditions. First thing first, you need to deal with low light situations. More importantly, you have to correct the color balance of the environment. You can use an on-camera flash to solve these problems. In fact, you don't need a flash if the shooting environment is perfect, meaning that it's evenly lit by soft natural light all over the place. This area is lit by soft natural light, which is mainly reflected by the walls from the side, which adds shape and depth to the subject. Even so, it kind of looks like a snapshot. To make the subject's face shine, you might open up the aperture by one or one and a half stop if shooting with manual mode. Otherwise, push the exposure compensation up to the positive numbers if shooting with other non-automatic mode. But in doing so, the background would appear a bit too bright and unnatural. You might find the same problem when shooting outdoor. You may want to capture both the church in the background and your kit in shade, but they require different level of exposure. So you can open up the lens by one stop where the kit looks fine, but the church appears too bright and the details are lost. Let's get the kit outside the shade, but now you see at least three stop difference between the subject and the background. Now it's time to use an on-camera flash to fill in. First, dial down the aperture to expose the background properly. Next, use an on-camera flash to light up the subject like this. Every time you want to get such a shot, you will find the subject too dark or the background too bright. Grab your flash and fire it in ETTL mode. Then the subject will be lit up properly and naturally. Let's get inside this museum to see how field flash works indoor. To keep the ambience, we try not to use flash when shooting the exhibits. But if you want to shoot your subject alongside the exhibits, your on-camera flash would do the job for you. Switch on the flash and it will be automatically set to ETTL mode. Set your camera to manual mode. Use a higher ISO and slower shutter speed. Make sure you can expose the background properly. When composing, turn the flash head to your subject. Use a diffuser to soften the flashlight and it should turn out fine. As you may already know, we can bounce the flash off the ceiling to light up a shot. But in this environment, we have got a dark ceiling only. And most importantly, we want to capture the background. So we would still need to resort to slow sync flash to achieve this effect. This shot was taken with ambient light, with white fluorescent light as white balance setting. It keeps the ambience as much as possible, but the color temperature is way too warm as a portrait. You can use a flash to correct the color balance, which is one of the key functions of field flash. Using a bounce card could be one of the options, but in this case, it's not. What you can do is to use the environment to your advantage. Turn the flash head to any reflective surface to get the desirable light. Thanks to the light bounced off from this door, we've got a decent photo with the right color temperature. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and comment on our videos. Feel free to post any questions about lighting techniques you would like to see. Bye for now.